<laughs> Hi guys, I'm back again. Back as your host. No more speedrunning for me until Monday. Or Sunday for you guys. But, uh, cool. As I said, we have Disney's Tarzan Untamed on the Wii U being run by the one and only Double Double. I think that's how you say it. I'm really sorry if I... There is a Double Double. That, that makes more sense. By Double Double, uh, coming up very shortly on the Wii. Now, we've had no extra, no more donations, so please get some in, because we have goals galore. We've got 15 bucks for Gunstar Heroes. 15 bucks for Gunstar Heroes. we got a bunch, but, uh... You know, we're gonna get this underway right now, with, hopefully... Uh, Double Double, so... I'll be back in just a moment with him. Oh no, right, I've guys. been pulled. You have been pulled. You've pulled. You have been. Alright, so this is gonna be Disney's Tarzan Untamed any percent. Take it away, double double. Oh jeez, we're live right away. Okay, cool. <laughs> Little unexpected, but it's fine. Anyways, hello everybody. Let me pull chat up. This is the general thing you do with marathon runs, or online marathon runs. At, le at least it's the thing li I like to do. Anyway, I should stop uh, stop rambling and start running. <laughs> Alright, so this is Dar Disney Stars and Untamed, a launch title for the GameCube. If you have not heard of, heard of it before, don't worry, most people haven't. It's, pr it's a pretty obscure game, but I'm going to be showing it off to you guys anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. There's 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 a couple moments where there's not much happening, so I can explain stuff there. So not much I have to say beforehand. Uh, <laughs> I was just about to get to that, Mannix. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, time is gonna start when I press A here. So if you give me a uh, give me a sign that you're ready, I'll count it down from three. Alright, then we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. So first thing we do, mash buttons to skip a cutscene. There's a cutscene before every level and after every level, or almost everywhere. And yeah, you can skip them on the first possible frame, so you won't see them if I skip them optimally. Oh, well, that's the first mistake. <laughs> Thanks for the good luck, Shime Gabriel. So yeah, what I'm doing here is called rail jumping. Even though I'm not on the rail, this is the first place we do it. But yeah, by jumping, we get we just move forward. It's just how the game's physics work. Also, I'm doing a lot of things in midair because ground animations are slow. Hey, check it out, Tarzan. What do you have? I don't know, but it's freaking Round animations are slow, so we uh, do everything over there. If you what punch the air and you land near a spot where if you were on the ground, you would have grabbed the spears, then you get them. And then, yeah, also, I also throw the spear in midair because midair is faster. You get stuck in animations. It's... This, this, okay, first skip in the game and it's the hardest. I missed it. So I had to land on the uh, left. Did a little bit to skip that, walking to the gorilla and getting that text box. So yet again, I have not gotten that. I have. This is like my seventh, seventh or eighth marathon run for this game, and to this day I have not gotten that successfully in a marathon yet. 
Also, we're rescuing this baby monkey. Uh, it's very important. What's going on? Who's responsible for this? I'm trying to find out. The other apes are out searching for the children. They'll help you on your way once you've freed all the little ones. Alright. So, yeah. So, don't need to grab spears, even though there's a spear dispenser there. If you manage your spears properly, then you won't need to refill one once you've grabbed them the first time, uh, because there's actually ammo management in this game. Is a, if a f sphere, uh, sphere, a spear lands somewhere. Also, this is another skip, and I actually got the optimal one. The last optimal version of that is grabbing the ledge and then having to climb up. Also, we kill that enemy instantly. So yeah, that that was room skip. Uh, by landing underneath the shrooms, we can grab the film reel. If we had landed on the shrooms, uh, we would have flown past it and we would have had to backtrack. I threw that spear too early, so I hit the guy that was on the right there. But yeah, about that enemy that I killed, like that, that dude I threw a spear at. If you uh, yeah get within his zone, you start a struggle in which you have to mash B to fill a bar. It's something that we will be seeing later a little bit later in the run. Hello, child. So yeah. So you will get to see that. But yeah, by throwing a spear instead, they k just instantly die. Alright, so I didn't do rail jumping on that one because it doesn't work. Uh, it only works when you're sliding downwards. Again, don't know why it works, we just know that that's how the physics work. Also, I'm gonna leave this uh, this trunk at a specific spot right there because it launches me forward, and it launches you forward faster than you can move. So flying there for as far as possible is the fastest. Like coming up right here, there's downward se rail section. So here we do uh, rail jump. This one we don't because it's too short. We would jump into the pit otherwise. Also, gonna jump off here, and yeah, just grab that film rule and go. Alright, so there we go. We've saved all three of the baby monkeys. You've also seen me pick up these uh, these collectibles, which are film reels. Also, we're just going to damage boost through that. Uh, because when you start running normally, there's a little bit of a build-up uh, to running speed, which is slow. But if you jump, you can move at running speed while that build-up happens. Alright, so because we sa successfully saved all baby monkeys, or baby gorillas, however you want to call it. Uh, we get this bonus, ga bonus game of a, uh, a bungee challenge. Just dodge all the obstacles and get to the bottom to get yet another one of those collectibles. And there you have the trademark Tarzan Yell. Yep. They put it in this game. So we're going to go back into the first stage now. Because uh, I mentioned these collectibles before. Uh, I'll, leave it up, I'll leave it up to you to judge whether that's... Uh, whether it's a good representation of it or not. But they're supposed to be film reels. Also, that's how we're supposed to do that climb. I kind of messed it up uh, the first time I was here. But yeah, that collectible, this is one of those games that makes you get a certain amount of a collectible to access the final part of uh, of the game. And yeah, this game, uh, it has three levels per area. The game, it doesn't really call it worlds, but it really, it clearly uh, divides itself into three, uh, three areas. Uh, so we do call them worlds and you need a... S and yeah, there's 25 film reels in total per world. There's 8 in each of the 3 stages. And then there's the bungee challenge, which is number 25. Uh, so yeah, multiply that by 2, and that's 50 for the first 2 worlds. We're going to need 45 of them to access the final third of the game. A AKA World 3. So yeah, so the reason we're going into Free the Young a second time is... Uh, now that we've completed the bungee challenge, these gorillas will help us. Uh, will give us the boost. <laughs> Math on stream. I know, right? Also, I could have easily died there. 
I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> Math in general. Alright, so now that I don't have a baby monkey on my back, I can spear this trunk. I didn't do it before because you can't throw a spear with a baby monkey on your back. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, now that we can access these, uh, we're going to take these paths and get the film wheels that are behind them. The route that we have for this uh, gives us access to 46 of them. We miss out on four because we don't save the baby monkeys in World 2, which means we miss out on the uh, on that film reel and then uh, three more of the, uh, the monkeys from World 2. Uh, of those those scythe paths that you saw me take before I Still have so much trouble get, getting that Yeah See, This is this is a perfect marathon game because we're both we're both saving and killing the animals. I Missed that film rule. Okay, cool So the route is tight enough that if I miss anyone in this surfing stage I'm doing right now I have to go back for it also, I skipped, I exited out of the stage as soon as I got the final film reel, or the seventh one. Uh, the game stores progress as soon as you get it. Okay, so I've already taken a good amount of damage, so I'll pull up the HUD here. In the top left, you can see Tarzan's health. Uh, I'll pull it up again. So yeah, you can see it's, it's divided into sort of uh, 25 segments. You can see it is like five sets of five, as you, can, as you can see here. So anything that damages you in this game does either three or five damage. All right, so here's the second film reel. I'm gonna get on this rail. All right, now I'm gonna try to hit this. There we go, good. I just went underneath that whirlpool. Okay, gonna slow down here a little so I get this. I have taken a lot of damage. This is not good. Alright, so yeah, what I'm gonna be trying to do more is do this. As you can see, I'm crashing into the walls but not taking any damage. This is a technique called back bonking. We call it that because we bonk into the wall with the backside of a board. For some reason, that has no hitbox. Or, well, it has a hitbox but it has no damage detection. Fish have damage detection though. Also, if you slow down enough and you crash into things softly enough, you don't uh, you don't take damage either. But since this is a speed run, we're going to go fast. So we're holding up to basically go fast. But yeah, as I said before, I can't afford to miss any of the film reels, or I have I will have to redo this stage again. And yeah, coming up is like the hardest one. Right, we got the hardest one. The one we missed at the beginning is one of the easiest. Go figure. That's just the thing you uh, you would miss in a marathon run. But yeah, as you can see, like, that was a good example. Ow. Okay, let me go around these fish, because I've had it happen once before. During, a, during my, the last time I ran this game for a marathon. Uh, that I died on those fish at the end. And even though I reached the end point of the stage. Because I died, I don't get the win. And I had to do, redo the entire stage. So, because I got hit by the crocodile. It's, uh, it's all good. Uh, I decided to just go around the fish. So yeah, this is an auto-scroller. Uh, except we do get to do stuff because we have to get, uh, as in the stage before, we have to get all eight of the film reels here. So yeah, if the host has anything to say or donations to read out, now is a very good time. Uh, no donations at the moment, but I would really like to uh, push it through. We have a bunch of goals and bid wars up, you know. Sunday, you got a bonus game. Who doesn't want to see Barbie speedrun? I mean, we have Tarzan. Why not Barbie? 
Uh, that's the NES version, I'll be at that. Uh, so we have a couple of stuff for Chrono Trigger, mostly mains. We have Luigi or Forts category, Sonic the Hedgehog, Zool Glitched Stoke Showcase. The bonus games such as Dress Up and Bob's In. Uh, such as uh, Sailor Moon Dress Up, from what I can tell, is essentially the game. <laughs> and uh, Ren and Stimpy presents Stimpy Invention. Uh, we have uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker and Max Voltage Torture. That's going to be fun. Uh, if you want to see me absolutely destroy my finger, uh, donate for that. That takes 9 presses a second for 1.5 minutes. So uh, that's great. Uh, we also have a couple of bid wars going on as well. We've got the classic Sable Kill the Animals for Metroid Exertion. We have Chrono Trigger, name Marl, name Frog, name Luca, just name everybody. Name them what you want. Name them Bilbo. Actually, it can only be five numeric. Yeah, that's, that's close enough. Five numeric car uh, letters, but uh, get in on that. We've got Castlevania character bid wars. We've got Castlevania route selection. can all be found in the donations link uh, in the panels below. Uh, so, yeah. A couple of bucks to save the children, and there are plenty of children who need it. So, uh, thanks guys, and can enjoy, continue enjoying Tarzan. Alright, thank you. That was pretty much the perfect plan. Also, this is a boss fight, although I use that term very loosely, because look at this. See, you have this. This goes. And boss fight done. That's it. The game defines them as boss wrestle, it's just match B at a certain speed as long as you fa match fast enough uh, to overpower the boss. The bar will drain at the exact same speed so there's literally no optimization to do it other than to input the, combina the button combination optimally. Uh, which also appears very slowly so you have time to process what it is. So yeah, now we're back to this type of stages. Also you may have noticed me doing a bunch of tricks and stuff. During the uh, during the other scroller, uh, more than once have I seen people compare this game to Tony Hawk because of that. And there's one more surfing stage coming up where I'm really gonna turn this game into Tony Hawk. So be on the lookout for that. So there's a woman shooting at us. We don't care. We need to go fast. So yeah, now it's back to just platforming and adventuring and getting and getting more of these film reels. And yeah, as I mentioned before, we're not saving the baby monkeys here. We're skipping the bungee challenge. Uh, yeah, that that uh, young ape that I walked up to is the yeah the monkeys that gave us access to the side paths. Uh, yeah, access to the side path, and this game is fairly linear in the sense that. Whenever there's a split path like that, where you have to get a monkey's help. Uh, there's one on the normal path and one on the side path. Be, uh, before they converge again. Oh no, I missed it. I died. I guess that section is too hard. Let's go the other way. Oh, I can never get enough of memeing that up. <laughs> so, we take that path first because it has no checkpoints. So, dying se uh, sends you back to before the split. Uh, so, you can go the other way. Death abuse is cheating. Is I mean, we only do it three times in the whole run. It's only to avoid having to do this level twice. It's just so we can grab all the film reels in one go. Because the game stores progress as soon as you get it. So that film reel I got, I uh, on, on that side path, I still have. And we're going to be doing the same thing here. I know you were memeing. I was playing along. Also, I jump off of rails a lot. Because uh, that sends you forward. 
And yeah, this is the the thing I was talking about. So yeah, normally we spear these enemies, but because of the death abuse. Oh, mother... Something. Alright, so because we died there, we have to do this again. This is the worst jump in the game. So it's uh, fair to die. But there's something. Hey, I'm keeping it clean, alright? PG-13 and all of that. Also, I'm, cl I'm jumping because it's faster than climbing. No, we're not just saving the children. We're also protecting the children's ears. Also, I can be anywhere I want in that trunk and get that film reel. It's actually impossible to miss. Also, as you can see on the HUD in the bottom right, I have seven uh, seven film reels. That's what we need uh, to get out of here. So yeah, those gorillas from World 1 uh, that helped us, they are also present here. It's the whole reason that we don't have to do the second bungee challenge to get enough film reels. Otherwise, we would have had to do them both. And yeah, that's the end of the stage. So, more cutscene skipping. And here is our next auto scroller. So yeah, bad news, we have another auto scroller. Good news, it's the last one. So yeah, I guess I'll talk a bit more uh, about the game after I get this. Okay, good, I get it. That reel is deceptively hard to get on, and if you don't get on it, you can't get the film reel, and you'll have to reset and redo. Also, this next film reel is also a jerk. Because this rail tends... To, well, the rail's a jerk. It tends to bounce you off. So I go past it and then ju jump up and abuse the gigantic hitboxes that these film reels have. Imagine that. Hit, gigantic hitboxes that work in the favor of the player. See, like that. Like, that's an example of how rails can just reject you. Right, that one rejected me too, but yeah, I can just kind of hug the rail and I'll still uh, get the film real. Also here, just rapid jumping. Hang on, let's make this, let, let's pull out the swag here. Oh, by the way, while I'm doing this reverse ski, my left and right controls are actually reversed. Kind of forgot to point that out until now. Also, for some reason, there's a trick. Tar Tarzan just turns a bit and it counts as a reverse grind and it gives you more points. Now, normally, the main function of points in this game is that you get a, you get a life uh, at 5,000 points, as it will show off right here, because I'll be crossing over 5,000. Now, as you can see, I have 13 lives. Lives are not... Not even close to being a problem in this game. And yeah, there's all eight film reels. Final auto scroller done. Al unless you want to count the boss fights as an auto scroller, because as I mentioned before, it's just mash the button, bar drains at the exact same speed as long as you're above the threshold. Is it threshold or threshold? I never, I never really understood that. I always thought it was threshold because you spell it with one H. Like threshold, uh, I would see as being spelled with two H's. I know. Enough English lessons. Let's play the game. So yeah, so World One had a skiing, a skiing stage, which are the other scrollers, a surfing stage, and a platforming stage. This has two platforming stages and a skiing stage. So the game is also linear in the sense that uh, World Three. Uh, we'll, ha we'll instead have two of these platforming stages, which the game calls Jungle Exploration. Um, oh, what's the other one? The surfing levels are called River Surf, and the skiing levels are, or the other scrollers are called uh, Water Ski.
That howl animation is so slow. Wait, which one? You mean the uh, the certified Tarzan yell? Because if that's what you're yeah. talking about, then yes, that is indeed that very slow. Okay, I got hit by the bird, which is unfortunate. Because I punched too late. Have you seen the children? Okay, that's suboptimal. Alright, so here's another one of those match B to fill a bar struggles, but we can walk around it. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not saving him. The least I can do is free him out of his cage. Except my punch didn't free him for some reason. Alright, cool. Guess he stays in there. Have I seen the children? Listen, it's the charity's job to save the children, alright? Not mine. That's how this works. You guys, you guys donate to save the children. You guys donate to save the children, so they can save the children. And I'm here. Uh, I'm here to go Have fast. The also, there's a soft lock I can do here by hitting this trunk at a specific point by jumping off of this overhead uh, vine. I'm not gonna do it because the soft locks you have to reset the level. Oh. Cool. Phenomenal. That's the first unintentional death. Can you grab the spears, please? Tarzan. Okay, fine. We'll do the slow animation. Saving the frame, saving the children. How did that punch not kill him? Oh, well, whatever. Alright, throw a spear to avoid another uh, mash B struggle, which we call an encounter. So yeah, there haven't been too many skips. There were two in the first level, and then it was kind of nothing. So here's another skip coming up. This is called Lasso Skip. I'll explain in a minute what it is, if I get it. Alright, so that was a bit of a slow one, but it was still faster. So yeah, by landing on the edge of the platform, the, uh, that guy that throws a lasso at you didn't trigger. And yeah, we could spear him and kill him off before he uh, throws his lasso at us. Because if you're in his zone, you will get bound. There's no way to dodge it. Now, yeah, you might not think of that as a skip, but the reason we define it as a skip is uh, because when you play this casually, you'll oftentimes jump far enough that you just land in his zone. Also, just so I don't have to punch, I'm going to throw a spear here. And yeah, that's the end of that level. Second boss fight coming up. So yeah, I've... I've said that these boss, these boss wrestles are the exact same every time. Uh, that's not 100% true. Uh, because, as you can see on the top right, top left is my health for this boss fight. Top, uh, top left and top right is the boss. And yeah, as you can see on the bar on the bottom, there's four button combos now. And he, we have to do this twice. That was a very slow button input, holy cow. Also, what is wrong here? What does not make sense? Pop quiz. Something here doesn't make sense. So let's see if you can, can figure it out. All right, so the correct answer was Tarzan can swim. You've seen me jump into water and die right away, uh, but in this part, Tarzan can swim for some reason. Luckily, luckily the second button combo is very easy because I can alternate with fingers. Because I, I use, just to make it easy on my hands, I just use two hands to, uh, to mash. Because it's really, like, it's really not a big threshold that you need. But yeah, just doing it two-handed. Show my boy. These may Yeah, just, just doing it two-handed makes it ma difficult. makes it like mega free. You were looking at jawlines and all kinds of things. Nope. Nope. The thing that doesn't make sense is for some reason Tarzan can swim in that just because it's a cutscene, and he can't swim anywhere else. Alright, so now we're back to uh, to this type of stage. It's, it's the most the most prevalent stage type. 
Oh god, that jump was a little early. Alright, so here. I get on, I jump off right away, I jump again, punch, and there we go, I magically get spears. So yeah, again, if you punch the air and then land in a place where you would grab them if you were on the ground, then you'll get them. The bit where you could bullet... Now nah, Tarzan is strong, dude. Alright, there we go. And yeah, as you can see, like astute viewers, uh, you can see my spear count in the top, uh, in the bottom left. It went to 4 when I uh, threw the spear and then it went back to 5 because I picked up the spear. If you can physically touch the spear, you get it back. So, as I mentioned before, there is ammo management in this game. So yeah, that's a little small part I could potentially rail jump on. This isn't really steep enough to do it. And yeah, you may have noticed we, uh, we're back to saving the animals again. Uh, because, yeah, we need to complete another bungee challenge. Now there I didn't even lose a spear because I threw it and pretty much instantly got it back because I sprung the bear trap. Okay. So what happened there... So what happened there was the spear hit the platform instead of the guy and then I jumped up and I got in his trigger zone so the encounter started. But yeah, nothing majorly has gone wrong yet. I missed one film reel. I had one death uh, when I was trying to grab spears. Uh, a little slow on the, the button input on the second boss, the first one. Uh, and it was me missing the first film reel in the first surfing stage. Alright, I'm not going to jump here and I'm going to instead climb normally. Because if you jump, you get dragged back in the tr into the trigger zone of that snake. Because that snake is another one of those, of those encounters. Um... Because uh, throwing the spear actually doesn't kill them. I throw it so early that they see it coming and dodge instead. Uh, but it does this. It basically does disable their uh, their trigger zone, so we can just walk right past them. I did it at the beginning of the stage as well. Now I need to hit this room early because look at how late I hit the last one. Those are not aligned properly. Oh, by the way, arachnophobia warning. Although if it helps... If it helps, I killed the spider. Okay, so we do gotta explain why I bothered with the arachnophobia warning. In one of my marathon runs... Uh, I would constantly make a point of... Um... I would constantly make a point of warning you for spiders. That's kind of where it started. And on one of them, I was so late with it that I decided to stop and wait for it. And the worst of all is, if I didn't stop to meme with the arachnophobia warnings, I would have gotten world records in that run. I missed world records because I was memeing. And that's where the arachno warning meme was born. As you may have noticed, I have fun with my speed games. It might be a foreign concept to some. But hey, that's that's what I do. Alright, throw the spear. Now, I don't need to grab that film reel because uh, we're in World 3 now. We've unlocked it and we don't need them anymore. Nope. Hit that, please. I only throw the first to stun him, and the second one was meant to go to the vine, but it targeted him because it was on the ground. Also, I I just put my my hand on the space bar, because that's my split button. I'm surprised it took me this long for that muscle memory of splitting 
to run through. And yeah, I'm actually not running my own timer on this. I'll go by what the marathon does. See, here's the second surfing stage. So, one property I didn't explain of uh, backbonking is that it it preserves your momentum. Uh, it redirects your momentum, but preserves it. And we've theorized that it may actually add to add some momentum as well, so that backbonking actually makes you faster. Way to put all the pressure on me. I mean, if you think about it, the, the pressure is on me to call time correctly. But yeah, I'll give you a good warning for when uh, when to get ready on time. Uh, but yeah, redirection momentum and potentially even adds onto it. So that's what we use it also for in uh, in the first surfing stage. Now here the waterways are too wide to take turns efficiently by bonking into the wall. So here we're going to use the main other property of it, which I did explain, which is uh, avoiding damage. Also these split pathways, they're different. Therefore one has to be faster than the other. But I was never really able to figure out which is faster because the, the physics are very volatile here. As you may have noticed. So it's essentially just... I've just basically made myself... Uh, yeah, just basically set out a route for myself of like which can I... Which ones can I maneuver uh, the easiest. Oh, ow. Alright, fine. Let's get these bananas. It has the physics of a GameCube game. Is, is that how that works? I want to say these physics aren't... I would say like Mario fi Mario Sunshine physics, for example, are much less wonky than this game. Sure, you can go through some walls and stuff. But I would I would not equate that to the, the physics. As, actually, at least not the aspect of the physics that I'm talking about here. All right, last uh, last proper stage. After this, it's the boss fight. Uh, however, there's a sp there's a special way to access it. Also, because we can't get spears and get again around this before this point, we have to take this encounter. Okay, physics of a third party GameCube game. See, that's more accurate. Go away, bats. I got the spears. So yeah, that's side path with the box. That's where we need to go. Except we can't get the, to the end because it's too high up. Uh, we need the baboons that are up there to uh, climb down and make a ladder for us that we cl can climb on. And that's what we need to beat the baboons bunny challenge for. <laughs> Uh, and why we're saving the baby monkeys in World 3. Yeah, the only, literally the only property of saving the monkeys is... Yeah, literally the only property of saving the monkeys is unlocking the bungee challenge. Also, risky, risky, uh... Risky rail jumping right there, because there's not much space. Considering you're doing hosting. <laughs> yeah, it's it's could recommend following the channel you're doing hosting for. Or following the channel of the marathon you're doing hosting for. I twitch good. Nobody twitch is good. Nobody in the world twitch is good. Some are some are just better at hiding it hiding it than others. Well, since we were memeing earlier, Arachna warning! Also, I'm continuously jumping, so what the spiders do is they... Um also, yeah, I'm throwing spears to break these cages, because it's faster than punching them. Why can you slide inverted without face planting? Ow! Ow! I can't throw spears at him, because I've got a, a baby on my back.
Oh! Speaking of that, I can do this. Hello, this also has tricks. Also, I def also I just realized I totally forgot to show off how Tony Hawk this game gets. So in the surfing stage, so yeah, I guess I'll just tell you. What about th those of us with banana phobia? I mean, you should have known. It's Tarzan. You should have known better. It's Tarzan, it's apes. You should have known there would be bananas. Also, bananas are good for your health. That's a good life lesson that this game teaches. But yeah, I'm continuously jumping. Also, I'm out of spears because my spear management was off. So, I have to take this encounter now. But yeah, in the surfing stage, you can do kickflips and, uh, and shove it. And 360 spins as well. You're more phobic of that loincloth. I mean, not much that I can do about that. Also, neat little trick here. I paused too early. Okay, so the indicator for the baby monkeys come in, so I quit the level. Because the game... Because as you will see here... Yeah, the game gives us the bungee challenge. So the reason that doesn't work in the first stage, where we could technically also do it, is because... Uh, it doesn't beat the stage and it doesn't unlock the next one, but that exit of this stage doesn't actually unlock the last stage So it's okay to exit early And the funny thing is that this has become so much muscle memory that I can do this while talking That we can also do it here on the first bungee challenge. It doesn't work pressing start doesn't do anything, but here it does work and Just getting the film reel is what counts as having completed the, the bungee challenge, that's the check it does. So now we just have to... Uh, now we just have to make our way back to the path I mentioned earlier. That That is uh, where we actually need to go to get to the end. Oh god. Just when I just when I thought just when I thought Taru was the worst. Uh, Taru is uh, Taru Duck, a, a, a good buddy of mine who uh, who tunes in, uh, into my streams a lot. Also, we get hit on purpose to cancel the animation. To cancel the animation and be able to move faster. <laughs> That's it. I'm out someone else can host. Uh, I'll host. I'll host while I'm running. All right, everyone. I'm I'm your I'm your host, Double Double. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be hosting the next uh, minute or so. And yeah, welcome to Pixels for Peace Winter 2020. All right. So last boss fight, same thing as before. They added a hit and they had a add a button to the combination. Double Double doing Double Do. Everything you hear was rehearsed and planned. Absolutely. 100% planned. Now, as you can see, the button combo shows up very slowly. Right, that's hits numbers uh, two. Time is gonna end when I press the final button on the button combination, so get ready. I, I, I told you I would warn you in time. Get ready on time. Just drain this bar. Input combination, which is always A, Y, X, B, B. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the button combos are always the same. Oh. Time! And that, ladies and gentle people, it starts in Untamed. Beaten. Most likely within 45 minutes. I'm waiting on confirmation of the time. 40-48. No, get out. Get out. No, there's no way. There's no way that this is a 40. There's no way this is a 40. And you know, 
Oh. Sure, timer might be off a second or two because of like because of like having to react to my uh, starting and ending time. But if I was running that myself, that would be a 40. How is that a 40? I died. I got we're slow in one of the button combos. I missed the film reel somewhere. Who knows how much film he lost, my boy? There could be a whole. So what record is 39.20 by uh by yours truly? And yeah, that's the second ever 40 that I've gotten in a marathon. N not not in in not in total. Like I've gotten 40s before on like no resets, and I've gotten uh, two 40 PBs before. But yeah, that is that is my second best marathon time. My best mar marathon th time is a 401, which was world record at the time. Uh, world record by a second, uh, that was. But yeah, this is m this is my second best marathon time and uh, and my second 40. I go. I get. I guess not. Not much more went wrong. I tend to overestimate my time losses. Well, since I went so far on the estimate, I can stick around and and talk some more. So yeah, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash double double. Um, and yeah, I speedrun this game and many others. Uh, I'll be back to... Wait, is it tomorrow? Yeah, it is tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow for the... Uh, for the world next door. Uh, the... Yeah, the, the world next door race with Lori D. Bunnykins. Uh, for which there is also an incentive that... Uh, that uh, I'll, I want to plug, if that's okay, uh, to uh, fight a secret boss, which I still have not practiced yet. <laughs> if you want to see me struggle against that, then be sure to donate for that. And donate in general. It's a good charity. It's a good marathon. And yeah, I'll be. B I will also be back later today on hosting. Gonna host a couple runs. Gonna be fun. Gonna be enjoyable, gonna be a good time. I mean, it's gonna remain a good time, isn't it? See, it's the whole marathon is just gonna be a good time. Anyways, that's it for me for now. I hope to see you guys in the near future, and goodbye.